Hey, welcome back to Everything Fly Fishing. We got our go-to bass fly in this video. It's a killer fly, catches lots of bass, and it's my go-to fly when I'm fishing for bass. So I'm going to tie this up so you don't want to miss this video. It's a great killer fly for bass. Let's get going. I'm going to start this fly by uh, wrapping some lead wire on it. Actually, we're going to add quite a bit. I like these flies to sink really fast. Um, and if your thread wraps of your uh, lead get wire get too pushed apart, just take your thumb and push back on the lead and keep wrapping and pushing it tighter. And that'll make your thread wraps really tight. I'm going to take white, white thread, about 100 denier, white thread, and we are going to start that behind the lead, and we're going to just cover up that lead with a bunch of thread, and make a taper behind the lead and in front of the lead, so it's kind of like a cigar shape, and then we're going to head cement it. Now we're going to get some white marabou to tie in for the tail. Tie the wet, the white marabou in and clip off the waist. Now you're going to grab a grizzly 
hackle fiber. Now, I know there's going to be a big deal about this, but you could use soft hackle. You could use dry hackle. The big feathers you don't use when you're tying flies, dry flies, you can use them. And you can find soft hackle even in them big feathers. So, you can just use marabou. I don't see a difference between hen or rooster or that in how it catches fish. So, tie in a hackle. Now we're gonna tie in some UV white Chanel. And we're gonna pull the end off so there's just a little bit of thread. And we're gonna tie it in using that so it doesn't build up a big bulk in our fly. Now we're gonna apply a little bit of head cement to all them thread wraps back there. Make it a little more solid fly. This we are fishing for bass. Now we take our heads, our uh, thread, sorry, back up to the eyelid of the hook and get ready to build this fly. We're going to start by wrapping the Chanel up to right behind the eye of the hook, tying it off. Now we're gonna wrap the hackle forward up to the eyelet. Now usually if you were tying this for a trout, I'd say uh, try and keep the spaces segmented even. This makes a difference on trout. Doesn't make a damn bit of difference on bass. This this fly can look like caca and it'll catch bass. Bass don't care like trout do. They're not picky. They're gonna just rail the crap out of these. So don't matter how good your flies look. As long as they catch fish when it comes to bass. You know, the tail could be a real long or that does make not a bit of difference to bass. So, wrap your hackle forward, tie it off. You want to trim all that extra hackle or anything that's around the eye of the hook before you head cement it. You know, it makes it harder to tie that fly on later if you have a bunch of crap around the eye of the hook. So, yeah. Clear that out of the way and then head cement it. Notice I put three whip finishes and head cemented this fly. 
That is for good, very good reason because we want to make this bulletproof. We are fishing for bass and bass will destroy a fly. So we want to make this strong and durable as possible. Now, usually I would tell you, let's take a closer look at the fly, but we really don't have to take a closer look at this fly. It's big and then closer it ain't going to show you much. So here's a final look at it. And, uh, they work. Hey, I hope you like that fly. Uh, that's a really easy fly to tie, which I love easy patterns for bass because bass destroy flies. I don't like really big fancy patterns for bass. Like I said, they destroy it and you spend a lot an hour tying a fly and then the bash destroy it. I don't like that. But anyway, you can, uh, these are really good flies. I mean, I don't do, I didn't do very many bass fishing. I hope to do a little, a lot more this year. But I didn't, uh, in the past, I haven't done much. But when I have, I've used these and it's killed them. I've had a good day of the few days I did, excuse me, have bass fishing. So tie some of these up. I try them on your local water if you're out heading out for bass. And heck, even they work great for trout too. Trout love them. They work great for trout. So tie these up. Try them on your trout stream or for if you're heading out for smallmouth. And thank you for watching our video. Check out, like always, check out all our links below. You can buy our t-shirts there. You can join our Patreon there, which is a really cool private community just for you guys. Um... And always check out our links and our sponsors. And uh, like I always say, thank you for watching our videos very much. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. And we got a huge. Somebody asked me, said, why aren't you doing 750 subscribers or another giveaway? Because, man, I'm doing a huge one at a thousand. And let me tell you, I'm already to like $150 of things that are going in that giveaway. I was like, keep building it. That's why I'm not showing you everything I'm giving away. I will show you that once we get to a thousand subscribers. But tell your friends, because man, it's gonna be a big one. Like I said, I have like, I think I put one item in, and it's up to 150. So it'll probably be around 200 bucks of uh, total pack value of our package we give away for a thousand. So that's when we're gonna do that. We're we're not going to do a bunch of small ones. We're going to just save up and do a big, massive one at, at a thousand, because that'll be that'll open up all kinds of new stuff for us here at this channel. So make sure you subscribe and tell your friends about us. Get them to subscribe. And uh, thank you for watching. Hey, welcome to the end of our video. It's really cool because you can see our playlist. And you can subscribe right there. Keep your lines wet, out of the trees, and only give them fish a sore lip. Yeah.